Hi, I'm Dita Von Tees, and I'm here with Time Out to answer some of their readers' questions. Well, unfortunately, not just burlesque dancing doesn't, isn't the only thing I can rely on to keep me in good shape. I do a lot of Pilates, and I still take ballet classes. You know, I'm a, a failed ballerina, so that's how I ended up being a showgirl. So I still like to take ballet classes, though. Well, don't look too closely. Sometimes it's a little off. You know, we always say they're, they're, um, they're, they're not, like, identical twins sometimes. They're, like, you know... They're twins, but not identical. So, and usually what I do is I draw one, and then I, it's good. Then I draw the other one, and maybe it's a little bit too big. So then I have to go back and draw the other one a little bigger. And then it's, that's why sometimes I go out like really like, you know, with a huge cat eye. Sometimes it's smaller, sometimes it's bigger, and a lot of times it's about whether I screwed it up or not. Sadly, I never really get a chance to see burlesque shows here because I'm always in the show and I'm always backstage before I, um, you know, go on. I don't get to see many burlesque acts, um, but I, I would like to. There's a few people I'd really like to see. Like when people new come into burlesque, I think they should think more about that and not watch a show like mine and say, oh, I have to have black hair and I have to have pale skin and I have to, you know, I, I have to be like that. My, my point is that people should try to look outside of what you know, what I do or what their other favorite burlesque stars are doing and think more about how they can really make their mark. And by making their mark, they're going to have to do something different and have to, like, think about what makes them great. What makes them different is what makes them great instead of thinking that's what burlesque is. That's where, that's where I think a lot of the mistake is made with modern burlesque performers. I get asked this question a lot, what's the difference between stripping and burlesque? And my answer is, more feathers and rhinestones, <laughs> better lighting, bigger production value, because, you know, the history of burlesque, um, it, you know, burlesque, the striptease burlesque was invented in America. And so it, it's, it's not any different. A burlesque show was a show, and the stars of the burlesque show were striptease artists. And if you, when you read or anything that Gypsy Rose Lee ever wrote, she liked being called a stripper. It was like that word was used back then. So I, I, don't, I don't really need any fancy terminology to describe what I do. I never correct someone when they say, she's, just, she's a stripper. I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm proud of what I do and the, the history of striptease and, and burlesque. Um, if I weren't a burlesque dancer, I think I would probably be a stylist of some kind because I, you know, I don't think my talent in, as a burlesque dancer isn't anything to do with being, you know, the uh, the best dancer or the prettiest or the youngest or whatever. It's, um, you know, I make these shows myself. I do my own hair, my own makeup, and it's it's really like a hands-on thing for me to create these big lavish shows. And so I would probably do that, you know, if I weren't going to, and I probably will do that someday uh, with someone else in the, on the, in the show and I could sit back and watch the show, so I'd like to be one of those ladies that's in charge of um, Crazy Horse Paris or Moulin Rouge or the Lido, you know, like the, the headmistress of the dancers who sits in the, the seats and tells them what to do.